When you headbutt somebody, they, they don't survive that. You can punch somebody in the face, that's going to piss them off. You headbutt somebody, they're going down. You take your elbow and you just rake it across somebody's face five or six different times, their natural reaction is to do this. It's going to open up the face right away. The blood's going to go into the eyes, they can't see, the stinging effect, the whole thing. There's no more vicious tool than an elbow. When you drive your knee into someone's groin or into the thigh, it completely buckles them from here. And when you use these tools in combination with each other, well, that's what we're looking for. And the thing about an elbow or a headbutt is you can do it until you're 80 years old. When you're 30, you're going to headbutt that fast. When you're 50, it's going to be that fast. Or how long do you have to train a headbutt? You're going to headbutt the bag two hours a day to get better at it? So these are tools that we can use whether we're sick, tired, hungover, I don't care. You get into a fight, you're in slippery ground, you just grab a hold, boom, and it's always there. It's ap applicable to any person, any fighting range. As soon as we get into trapping range, we're going to beat somebody.